What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 2 and today's topic will be on um, how to send images using whatsapp bot so in the last video we chose tutorial 1 in that video we have seen how to uh, respond to a message uh, or incoming message automatically using python and twilio api but in this video we'll see how to respond to an incoming message with a uh, image or photo whatever uh, using python and twilio api so if someone is new to our channel uh, i'll highly recommend you guys to just go through our channel for the first tutorial so if you go to our channel there will be one playlist with this name whatsapp bot bot for whatsapp and in that there is a video called whatsapp bot bot for whatsapp with this name and in that video it is a 30 31 minutes video in that video we have discussed everything like how to set up whatsapp bot how to set up to ilo api how to like interact uh, with the api and after that how to uh, send automatic messages whenever you are sending something so in this video we'll be going to talk about how to use um, the same thing but uh, in this case what is going to happen we'll reply to an incoming message but not only with the text but also with some sort of like image or photograph okay so first thing let me open the slide so so there is some prerequisite for this video so first thing twilio setup then ngdoc setup then set up http port http with port 5000 then set up file this is a new thing and after that whatsapp web login so first thing so for setting up the twilio api what do you have to do you have to just log into this twilio.com okay this website and after that you have to register and you will uh, get this sort of dashboard and after that if you click here you will get programmable sms you have to click here on programmable sms okay and after that you have to click this whatsapp beta okay so now we have to do we have to uh, create one sandbox for your testing so we have to uh, send this message this message to this number from your whatsapp so i have already logged into this whatsapp and this is the number okay so if you click here you will see this is the same number i have already added to the name of twilio if you see the same number one four five five two three eight 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 six see one four five one four one five five two three eight six so we have to send this thing now okay to set up the environment if you see something will come see you are all set the sandbox now can send and receive messages for whatsapp reply stop to leave the sandbox and also it will be reflected here see message received okay so you are done now you have to do you have to set up the sandbox uh for i'll, I'll explain you you have to click here on sandbox okay so when a message comes in you want to respond to that message actually all these things i have already discussed in the tutorial one but again i'm doing it so what do you want to do uh, for example when you are sending some message for example if i go here suppose i am sending hi so whenever you are writing hi this bot like this number to i low bot should respond to you some sort of auto generated message like okay how can i help you some something like this okay so here uh what is there okay for here you have to host your python code here okay when a message comes in in which uh, uh like uh, url it will go for that actually what you need let me go here you need to set up ngrock and set up the port 18 so what i'll do i'll just write the code now and after that i will do the setup for this two three four five the remaining two three four uh, at the at the end after writing the code so this is done and this is also done what's the web login everybody knows right so now ngrock setup is pending uh, this port 5000 with http is pending and set up this file protocol is also pending so what i'll do i'll start writing the code first okay so nothing else so what i'll do we'll try to do something okay so first thing first we'll write code now so if someone is already uh, gone through the last video then it will be more or less same we'll be using a uh, python web framework that is flask okay so it will be from from flask import flask okay like it will be small actually yes right 
and then request right we need this two thing here and form twilo api also we need something okay so guys you need to install this flux and twilo okay so or else it will not work from twilo dot this one dot messaging response import messaging response so guys you have to install this and twilo this is a separate library you need to install that okay so what else we need we need probably date and time that's it okay so that's it now what will happen um this is flask so first thing first we need to define one app name first okay so for our task we'll give uh, name is app bot this is our whatsapp bot so app bot only and after that we'll use this okay so flask and here we have to give something like this okay it means we are defining the name and after that we need to define the root for that okay here and we have to define the route actually in which url you want your means app to be run so it will be sms and what are the different uh, methods you want to use so our case it will be get and post always like this so it will be get and post okay it's done then we'll define one function so if someone uh, or those are actually uh, already watch our video the last tutorial for them it will be very much easier but if someone is watching for the first time for them actually i'm explaining these things in detail but from the remaining tutorial what i'll do i'll just take a copy paste from the first or existing code and only do the uh, the necessary things which is required for this tutorial for example the code will be 90 percent same but only part is that in the last video we have seen we are we are actually replying using text message so in this video what we will do we will reply with the text message also along with the image file okay so that is the new thing nothing else so now the actual function okay so first thing uh, in the last video we have seen we have we, we, we replied with your number and the message so what we'll see so we'll say uh, message body or msg text is going to this request dot form dot get it means the body of the message will come here okay i think it will be like this okay right and um, sender number okay this is also same request dot form dot from dot get and here it will be from means who sends the message okay so what i'll do we'll just uh, print let's print this thing first okay whether we are getting correctly or not okay and print msg underscore text okay so this is done so function is done so at the at the at the bottom when everything is done you have to write like this if those are actually coming from object oriented concept those are already know these things right a pot dot run okay it means if the function name is main it will execute this thing okay and for this thing uh, means like this is python so you have to use this thing all right so we need 
to take care of the indent here okay so let's check if everything is fine or not it is saying our address is already been used so let me run this thing okay so our code is running on this port okay and this is the IP address of the local host okay so now the this part ngdoc setup so now if we go here twilo cannot interact with your local internet address intranet address you need this address means uh, your program is hosted here but twilo cannot access your this thing because he doesn't or the twilo server doesn't know about anything anything about this thing so for that you need to use something like this ngdoc ngdoc if you go to google and you will be able to get the software and after that you can just easily download this thing okay easily and after that uh, uh, you can use it easily uh, i'll show you how to use it so once you install ngdoc uh, you have to just uh, write like this ngdoc http 800 so i'll show you guys see uh, if you uh, write like this ngrock http 800 or here actually so my port is running actually this is my port and ngrock give me this address internet accessible address so this address is accessible from anywhere okay it means this is the address of my local host and just because i give the route here actually slash sms sms so in my case it will be here slash sms so whenever the message comes it will uh, run this code and will print out the number and text so this is the essence main thing so i need to save this thing oh my god why it gone okay so it's done so what i'll do I will now try to send some text message here so what will happen the uh, the message uh, number from which number I am sending the message and this will be printed the text message will be printed here okay so let me put hi we got some error I am not sure what is the error here okay response view function view function did not return a response okay 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 so <laughs> the thing is that it is not returning any response so that is why the problem okay so that is fine it is not sending any response that is the problem but our main part is that see i send the message from this number this is my number and this is high so what i'll do i'll try to write something blah 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 see it will come again see blah blah coming so don't 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 worry about this part this part will be fixed when we write the remaining part of the code now it is expecting some sort of response okay so that is why the error okay so just leave this part okay so our part is now completed but now somehow we need to remove this part because we need only the number so for that we need to replace this thing so what will happen now send underscore number is going to be send underscore number dot right we need to replace that and it will be replaced by nothing like this will be replaced by nothing okay right okay so next thing is that uh, we'll uh, generate the message body okay for, for our response so what we'll do um i will try to get one message okay so i would like to say that you are sending this message from this number like this so first define one message response so it will be like uh, this okay 
so this will be message response okay then msg dot msg is messaging response now we'll write the response or like uh, uh, mm, response equals to msg dot message okay so here we'll write this thing so in our case it will be uh, you send you send msg underscore text from okay so this is the message sorry uh, this is the message so it means you send message text means this one from this so this is done so one is completed so what i'll do i'll i'll check this thing now that whether it is able to send this message or not okay so I need to return this thing actually okay okay so let's stop this thing let's run this thing again okay now we'll try to send test so it should return you send test from my number like this okay something wrong okay there is some problem definitely some error somewhere we need to debug this thing actually what is the error we need to check actually okay so here message is re messaging response then messaging is this like this okay okay it should be string okay so this should work now so let's run this thing okay see you send test from this number so there is a there should be a space between test and form so you send test message but there is no space so let's run this thing now see you send test from this number okay so this is working fine see right so what i'll do now i will try to so till now this part i was already done in the first video okay so now we'll see how to send one image along with the text message so what i'll do i'll try to send this jpeg file okay so this is actually our youtube channel logo if you open so this is our youtube channel logo so i'll pass this thing okay so what is required here so it will be msj so it will be like this msj dot body uh, sorry not msj so it will be like here response dot body media response dot media 
and inside that I have to put this URL but again if I put this URL Flask will not able to understand what code is this cause again it has no access to this thing you have to use something internet facing right our message has been sent by the Twilo API so Twilo cannot access our local file in this format so for that thing again what I do just open this thing there is something called file this part is done right this is done this is done so what do you mean by this thing so I, I'll show you what do you mean by this thing let's open this thing this is very important and interesting as well so if you put this thing here so it will directly structure your directory so in my case my eclipse is inside here and inside eclipse workspace and inside that I have there is a folder called whatsapp bot so it will be there so let me go through scroll through down scroll down through this here where is my whatsapp bot library well think i should go from his this name is whatsapp bot w a t s whatsapp bot what's app bot see this is my this whatsapp bot and inside that there is a file called this so this is this okay so now if you want to access this thing from internet you have to use this thing first you have to write this thing i actually use the same thing like ng rock and after that if you like this file like this then it will uh, create your file you, uh, you, you will, it will give you an internet facing url for your uh, accessing your files from internet so if you if you change this thing from here and like something like this it will be more or less uh, let's wait see it is same so now if I again copy this thing and open in a new browser it is opening the same thing okay so for that purpose what will happen now you have to write your media like this okay so what will happen now so it will send the text message and along with this photo or JPEG image okay so let's try this thing hopefully our server is running a yes, server is running that is why I'm able to access this thing so now if I uh, run this thing so there will be a text message along with this image okay so running is fine so let me go to my whatsapp and let's write hi so it should come with some image I'm not sure why it's not coming okay it came you send hi from this so that's it it's super cool right so now we want to give different name of this photo how to do that that is also possible for that you need to you need to do something like this right so what do you have to do you have to i'm just thinking how to just okay okay no so you have to just copy this message one and you have to just write total technology logo okay so this is total technology logo and what is happen here so what else what i'll do uh, it will be response one actually okay and here it will be response one so what is happening here i'm just creating another response on top of uh, this object this is a message object or messaging response object so here it will go as a simple message and after that i'm sending this thing with this thing so the photo uh, will have a uh, different tagline and uh, there will be another message okay so this is like this okay so let's run this thing now okay this run this thing now so test it 
see you send test from this and total technology logo came together if you change something just to make sure that it is working fine so and just rerun everything from the beginning like test 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 so let's check see you send test test you set and the image will come as well total technology like this so this is very simple so all the bots and other things whichever you have seen till now for any forum or any portal while booking your tickets or movie tickets or any restaurant booking app or whatever so they definitely the most of them using uh, most of them are using twilo api so uh, twilo actually facebook also uses twilo linkedin also uses twilo many big companies mostly or fortune 90 percent of the fortune 500 company using twilo api and this is very easily and this is also uh, easy to in integrate using different programming language whether it is python node java php whatever so we are just doing python because our main motive is to do something with the python so in the first video we have seen how to send uh, or send auto generated uh, text uh, response uh, with with some sample text body now we have seen how to respond to an incoming message with text message and some sort of photos in the next video what we'll see how to respond with a pdf file okay so that is our next tutorial whatsapp bot to send a text file in response or pdf file in response okay so i believe this makes sense and you guys are uh, getting some sort of benefit from this tutorial but please do let me know if it is actually helping you so we'll make more tutorials on this sort of uh, like things this is actually very useful when you are developing or working some sort of full-fledged project and there one part is definitely customer handling or uh, customer service kind of a thing so nowadays the l1 or l2 support jobs are mostly uh, done by this sort of auto bot even banking systems are using uses this sort of bot so if you know how to code uh, on this uh, sort of platform like whatsapp or facebook or uh, uh, twitter or telegram then definitely it will give you uh, like uh, much more uh, uh, exposure to apply uh, apply for the jobs in the different regions of this industry and definitely it is uh, going to uh, benefit going to be bene kind of uh, going to be uh, easier for you to go and grab some opportunities immediately actually i'm saying this for the freshers or the like uh, newcomers point of view if you are a college graduate just looking for job or just wanted to do some uh, programming uh, wanted to do some programming training so that it will give you some sort of project hands-on experience and also you can land it up to your freelance project as well so if you go to some freelancing website for freelancing.com or uh, peopleperhour.com and search with whatsapp bot or python bot you will get thousand of uh, like jobs they're they're uh, looking for someone who can uh, write codes to build their bots using whatsapp uh, or sorry uh, not whatsapp they're looking for someone who can generate a whatsapp bot or twilio uh, api supported some bots different sort of bots or automation tools so definitely it is going to help you if you are practicing and don't uh, just uh, watch my videos after watching this video try to create some innovative use cases and after that try to implement all those things using your own thoughts and own idea then definitely it will help you if you are just watching my videos and after that doing nothing it is actually not going to help you you have to write your own code by your own then only it will give you some sort of confidence some sort of insight towards the technology and then only will improve yourself okay so enough of talking guys but don't worry i'll upload this source code and also i'll upload this uh, pdf slide but to be safer side i'll highly recommend you guys to go to our channel and search for this whatsapp bot uh, just go to total technology search for this whatsapp bot playlist there the first tutorial will be this and try to watch this tutorial you will be able to uh, like clear all your doubts regarding this twilo account setup this 12 account setup this nj rock and all this sort of things okay but after that still if you guys are having any difficulties or problem facing problem to configure 2 or nj rock please feel free to 
uh, reach me out i will always uh, there to help you and thank you very much for all udemy students actually this tutorial for you you guys are uh, asking me or requesting me for last one or two months to create this tutorial so i thought of creating this now so in the next tutorial just to give you some sort of excitement that in next tutorial we'll see how to generate a pdf report and send automatically whenever there is a response or there is an incoming message okay so that's it guys that's all for today hope to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button and if you already watching our videos if you are enjoying these videos please share our videos with your family friends whoever is relevant for the topic and if you have any doubt suggestion complaint feedback you can also uh, provide your valuable feedback to us and thank you very much for all the udemy students uh, i'm just getting uh, extra motivation for you guys thank you very much for purchasing this course and in future also we'll try to make some quality uh, contents for all of you thank you have a nice day and see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and happy learning keep practicing Let's <laughs> go.